All right. What is the situation over here? How are things going? I mean, I'm busy researching stuff, obviously. But at least a few of my researchers are currently busy running around the hospital and helping people in other ways than by doing research. There used to be four of them over here, now there are only two. The other ones just... Well, they just had to go out there and help. Because I was, I was understaffed for whatever reason. Surgery. A surgery is being performed. These people... Maybe waiting for... Oh! Yes, the, the electrolysis clinic needs to be manned by someone. I wanted to conduct training, but so far I wasn't really able to. Of course, I have this blow-up, which is unfortunate as all hell. I have no idea if anyone died in the process, I hope not. This one I don't, I don't remember. Three GP offices, constantly manned. Part of the reason why I had to... Why I had to take so many of my researchers off from the work in the research department and help them, um, and have them help others. This psychiatrist is extremely tired. Well, maybe not extremely tired, I've seen was. He is tired, so I'll place him over here. My researchers are kinda getting tired, I guess. This consultant researcher, a brilliant guy, is also tired. Now this researcher is not, but let's place him over here anyway. At least for the time being. Where's this psychiatrist headed? Now this guy should go to the electrolysis clinic. Let's have this guy rest, if he can. This woman's queued up for the x-ray, so let's put someone over here, so he can take care of that. How are the GP officers doing? This guy is tired, this guy is tired, this guy is also tired. This might end up being... Well, I wouldn't say a disaster, but still unpleasant to a degree. I should probably get rid of this mouse ball somehow. I mean, the usual way. Same way you get rid of puke. Put a drink machine over it. It works. Let me just put two benches over here. Probably put a drink machine over here somewhere. How are my machines doing? Ah, my machines aren't doing all that great. I could page my handyman, but that's, that's not the idea. They are supposed to be repairing this on their own. Oh, and I have a VIP here. Let's hope I am making enough of a profit to sustain this guy. He repairs all my machines on a monthly basis. <sighs> so this guy's good for the scanner, and this guy is waiting. But the scanner needs to be fixed first. So these two guys, taking care of my machines. Well, I wonder, will I, where are they going? What do you want to repair now? I guess they will be watering plants instead of fixing machines as they were supposed to. Yep, watering plants. This 
case waiting for general diagnosis. And the research is free, so I guess I could put him in the blood machine room. Where's the blood machine room? Yep, over here. Come on, Doc. Doc, come on, man. This machine needs repairs as well. What about my other machine? Well, this is fine. The shower I could use. A bit of fixing. I have to page them manually to everything if it's not completely broken. fix all the things. Should help. Of course he needs to leave the room to enter the room again so he can actually fix the machine. Brilliant. What? what? No! Stop it! What are you... What is this guy doing? Is he stuck? Might be stuck. I mean, probably not permanently. Come on, and you're making an embarrassment out of this, so stop it. If all my consultants leave the GP office at the same time, oh, well, I only have a single consultant left, and what is happening? What you might have predicted would happen. Oh, people are queuing up for reception. Bad news. 24%? It's not even that such a. It's not even that an overwhelming population is visiting my hospital. It's just this. That I cannot handle the, the load without my consultants on the job. Doctor, attend immediately in cardio, please. Yep. Figures. We need help. Oh, he will help them, even though he is tired. I could use more surgeons. Here's yet another tired consultant. DNA fixer, huh? It's probably this. Because they left some, they left some old names in the announcements. You know the names have been updated in the game, as far as, um, as, far as the text goes. So many people could up. I really need the consultants. How am I supposed to handle this? deal with my surgeons. I have only two. One of them is over there. Uh, 
Another one. Another one is tired as hell. Oh, no. Because he's coming back and... Got 150,000. No, no. <sighs> Declare an epidemic, create a fine, take a reputation hit. I can afford it. People leave, but there are still people queued up. Only two surgeons. Yep, seems that way. Little wonder that I'm having problems. I was supposed to train them, but it was just not going to be. the GP office. Let's hope these guys can handle this. I mean there are two consultants over here and a single researcher. Could have been worse. Somewhat depressing that the best I can offer most of the time is it could have been worse. Yeah that's not necessarily all that encouraging. Getting sent further along the way. My sound is glitching out. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. If I load the game, will it help? Stop them. <sighs> there we go. Slightly damaged. Of course it is. Of course it is. Doctor required in X ray. They don't want the handyman to interrupt everyone if. The machinery is only slightly damaged. So we don't. And then I get reprimanded at the end of the year because my machinery is not in tip top condition. So many people are waiting for the surgeon. Oh, and the surgeon is no longer. <laughs> the surgeon is extremely tired at this point, but hey! He has to do what he has to do. Just come on, come on, people. These guys are waiting for you. Just, just, just go. Oh, great. Oh, of course, the machines need fixing. I will do that. I have myself to blame. Probably sh shouldn't be doing this all the time. There are so many people in, at my hospital, and I'm sure I can handle this. Especially since I need a psychiatrist, and one of my psychiatrists is also a surgeon, and he's currently extremely tired and busy. Let's declare the epidemic for now. I need a better reputation, but I think I can handle that eventually. And come on, guys, just just get in there. Just. Let's go. What are you waiting for? 
Okay, they are, they are getting pissed. Finally! Can I handle this? Two people with spare ribs. Ah, no! All the things, no. Can you perform two surgeries? Ah, no! I need my surgeon to rest. I'm kinda handling this. Two people are queued up. But this guy just can't handle it anymore. Just let him rest. I might really need the third doctor. So where are the consultants? Oh. Of course people are queued up to the psychiatrist. Unfortunately I only have two and one of them is extremely tired because he's only because he's also my well one of two only surgeons. This does not require a consultant. And this dog is tired. I recall one more doctor from the research department, just so he can help people elsewhere. I mean, I don't like the idea, but it might be necessary for now. I definitely need a better reputation. Fortunately, I can increase this just, just by helping people. Thank you. 
Money keeps rolling in. I seem to be making quite a bit. I mean, we'll see how things stand, but I probably could afford a few more doctors than again. But I still need to train them. Because the only guys I've played are complete rookies. I mean, if I, if I had a rookie surgeon, I could deal with him being a rookie just by the virtue of him being a surgeon. Psychiatrist? Well, that's something. Yeah, let's put the consultant research over here. Ah, oh, that's what I call a hospital. My reputation has been boosted and I got some cash. Now this guy will get tired quite soon, but still. He's helping to a degree. to offload this guy because he's not a consultant. He's a junior. Poor guy. I mean, he's doing his best, but his best is just not enough. Is my surgeon psychiatrist not performing surgery? Why? Also a junior, a junior researcher. Let him do research. The X is in decent shape, but still it can absolutely be required. That's people. No, 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 no. What? Wait, what? What the hell was that? Hey, Knight, I don't know. I mean, look at this. What did I lose? Not the cardio. Nope. Probably the slack tongue clinic. It seems that way. Well, of course, these people are queued up to the scanner, and this doctor is tired. 
Ich. Yeah, now two. I don't know, I don't know. I have no idea why it blew up, but it did. Somehow it's still dead. Aside from that, I seem to be doing rather well. I could use more surgeons, but that's just not gonna happen, as far as I can tell. I would need to make one of my surgeons a consultant, and then have that consultant train someone else to be a surgeon. That's just too long of a process. Um, so many people are queued up for the scanner, I don't get this. Why isn't anyone going there? Why? I mean, they can absolutely leave rooms. We get this over with quickly, let's put a consultant over there. Let's see how this helps. I mean, sheesh! Look at this, look at this mess, why? Get out. Yeah, I know, and they will be annoyed very soon. Can I actually handle an epidemic? I mean, they are pretty pissed. Someone might leave and just ruin my odds. Let's declare the epidemic. Seriously, a single, single guy, a single GP officer at this point is being manned. That's not acceptable. Doctor, 
And of course, no spell surgeons. Yeah. I mean, I hate declaring epidemics, but sometimes you just have to do it anyway. Such long queues. I mean, I'm doing my best to offload this, but still, it's. Do I need a fourth GP office? Or is this only a temporary situation? I mean, I could get a fourth GP office over here. And. Probably the inflation clinic here. Perhaps. I'm not dealing with so many emergencies anymore, I could afford that. Yeah, queues of seven are just excessive, let's do this. Alright, a fourth GP office. I just need someone to staff it. Like my consultant researcher, who unfortunately cannot do research or teach anyone. At the moment. Suddenly the situation seems to be under control. Apparently I'm getting close to winning, by the way, this is... Pretty good news. All I need is, is reputation and money. Well, I need to increase the value of my hospital, but that's that's just trivial. And of course, I get both reputation and money the same way by helping even more patients. Yeah, I know, right? I got a fourth GP office. That way I was able to route people to four different facilities instead of just three. It really helps. I mean, that's one third more, um, you know, diagnostics power. It's, it's not only diagnostics. After diagnostics, I also go to the GP office. I'm actually routing people to buildings which are routing them further along the way. 
Because that's what the GP office does. It either sends people to get diagnosed somewhere, or it sends people to get killed somewhere. 100%, 100%. I think I've conducted all the research. All of it, as in it's a, everything is at is at a hundred percent. I can work on some improvements, I guess. There's not much else to be done. I don't even need my researchers to be researching things at this point. They absolutely can help the general staff of the hospital. So all I need to do now is just kill some people, and that's it. All I need to do is increase my reputation, which I probably will do the easiest by healing people. Because one of the GP officers is now not manned anymore. I will have to take care of one of the epidemics eventually, but this is not the grand epidemic. This is not the one. If I can just get rid of these people, if I can just kill them, that would be great. I'm not taking care of an epidemic in such a situation where there are so many of them. Someone might get pissed off, leave, and then cause me to pay the fine anyway. Once again, lowest death count, high skill count, high salary, most visitors, most high still value, but of course, never the richest, always the poorest. Yeah, my machinery exploded, but I sold many fizzy drinks, because I shot many rats. High standards, amazing reputation, my hospital is the least clean. Most valuable. I need my reputation to go up. <laughs> the Soros, <laughs> yes, of course. Take this research away and just put him in the decontamination room. Quite a bit of commotion, people are coming in and going out. But other than that, not not too many people are just sitting there queued up.
consultant over here. Yeesh. I hate picking the surgeons up. Yeah, and still my hospital was not clean enough. Doctor wanted in electrolysis. Need to train my surgeons. Of course this guy is extremely tired, so that will not help. This guy is on his way somewhere. Try my best. Will probably not work, but still have to try. This guy needs help. He really does. Oh boy. We probably send the poor best at home. Just don't die on me, go away. They were waiting for the psychiatrist. And now I will need both of my surgeons over here, which is unfortunate as hell. Someone became a consultant, but who? Who could it have possibly been? Just some regular old doctor? Probably. I mean, that will help for sure, but still. They're probably one of my researchers. And one of my juniors has become a doctor. I need both of my surgeons over here to perform surgery. And after they are done, I will send them back to training.
Don't die, just just get help. Oh boy. Please don't. Yes, get a drink, of course. Can you just get to the pharmacy and get help? Thank you! Yes, Luke, you must finish your training! Um... Come on! Finally! There's no one queued up. Of course, you know, the risk of picking up a surgeon is that it may crash the game. So I have to save each time I try it. Okay. Save the game and try to pick up a surgeon. Unless they leave, in which case it might... Okay, he's changing into a different set of clothes, so... To pick him up after he changes his clothes, otherwise... I didn't have a disaster, okay. So I have this guy, I can also... Now I can safely pick him up. It's not funny, it's horrible. I mean, I've been, I've been through this already. And it's probably when they are on their way to change their clothes. Yep. No, 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 this is, this is a disaster. It really is. I mean, zero out of four GP offices manned, that's unacceptable. Come on. Yeah, they've synchronized the breaks. Which, you know, makes sense, socially speaking. They can play pool together. But come on. I mean, would you insist on going on break when no one else is on break? Exactly! So all of them got on break at the same time. Meanwhile, no one is getting help. Well, thankfully I was able to alleviate that. At least to a degree. Speaking of degrees, I need a consultant over here. This might not necessarily be easy. Because one of the consultants is over here. How tired is he? <sighs> Quite a bit. Let's put the consultant researcher over here so he can actually train my staff. One of the doctors will go here instead. It's still for the people manning the GP offices. And the full GP office was absolutely necessary. Can I handle an epidemic now? I'm not sure. An epidemic of what? Ruptured nodules, no! That's something that requires surgery. I cannot handle a, a surgical epidemic.
hope the training is paying off. I mean, they are becoming researchers for sure, but that's not necessarily what I wanted to have happened. And of course, they are needed elsewhere right now. There's never enough time, and the training makes them tired, so then they are tired and they go to operate and then they cannot operate all the time and they have to go on break before I can train them again. It's a vicious circle. And if I had a third surgeon, I wouldn't need to be... Ah... Uh, need to be training them in the first place. Like taking out a loan, you first must prove that you don't need it. Ridiculous. So many people. All I need is more money and a better reputation. And I can up the value of the hospital so easily, just pretty much one more building and that's it. They clean up everything with just a broom. Now this guy of course is teaching absolutely no one, it will be fine. Oh look, so many people are queuing up, queuing up for surgery, yeah, that will end well. That will absolutely end well. This guy isn't tired at all, why is he here? Come on man, leave! I'm making a lot of money, but I... Let's just hire another junior. Fall model surgeries, aside from this one. Yeah. These guys will totally not be tired. Can I handle an epidemic? I mean, I could try. Keep piles, so pharmacy. Let's let's try my best. I regret everything.
Vaccinate them, deactivate them, whatever it is that you are doing, do it to them. Now, if this guy is contagious, then it's all over. But if he's not, okay, if he's not, there's still hope. So now I need to make sure that these people are the number one priority everywhere. Actually, screw it. Let's queue her up over here. First place. Not bad. I'll take it. The surgeons are required, of course. I mean, they are over here. They are just tired as hell. I'm not sure I can make it. But I will try. It's not all or nothing. I can still... I can still help the situation if I get rid of some of them. At that point, I'm inevitably asking myself, what exploded? me to drag him to the front of the queue. Over here this guy needs to go to the front of the queue. And what is blowing up? Everything seems to be absolutely fu- Another jelly vat. These people are actually heading for pharmacy, which is good news. Oh boy, what, what the hell? Yep. I need the second surgeon, but currently he's kind of tired. It's hardly surprising. Look at this mess. Doctor, 
Never mind the puke, I have failed when it comes to the epit. I actually have barely failed. Look at this, there's only a single person left. So it could have been a lot worse. The epidemic. Uh, I have almost handled the epidemic, almost. It's by the, by the tiniest smidgens. I mean, this means that the fine will not be as severe as it could have otherwise been. Where is she going, by the way? To the X-ray, of course, because she needs to have additional diagnostics performed on her. Yeah, I will not be able to help her in time. But oh well. So I get fined 18,000. And my reputation. Now fairly low. I can lose because of my reputation, so I need to get it up as soon as possible. And of course I am swamped. Quite a few it's just just obscene. Yeah, I need one more consultant, preferably. Not again. Something is about to blow up. Kill my patients. 
probably kill my doctor. I cannot tell what it is. I just do not know. It's just a tragedy waiting to happen. Pretty much nothing I can do to prevent it. Someone is extremely tired and yet still working. Definitely not this guy. I mean, he's not doing much. <sighs> not helping anyone. Put him over here. Oh, it's the surgeon. <laughs> Uh, I, I I need him to help me a bit more, but he's so tired that I guess it's probably not... Look at this poor guy. Yeah, let, let's get... Let's get more handy, man. Has anyone died in an explosion? Was it merely? Well, my ultra scan is gone now. As far as I could tell, I was just... I was doing fine. I could not see the smoke and the machines seemed in a very decent state. How can I tell? Am I supposed to periodically just fix all the machines? Sure, of the local population visits my hospital than any of the other institutions. No! I was doing so well, too. It was going so well. And it all just fell apart. And with little to no indication of why. I mean, I, I don't know. I keep putting a fire extinguisher in each of the rooms, which has machinery in it, and it's still not enough. I think I just have to periodically replace all of my machinery in case something hor goes horribly wrong, just as a precaution. It's not even about the state of the machinery because you cannot tell from simply looking at it. it might be in perfectly fine condition and yet you still have to replace it. Unfortunately, I've been streaming this for over an hour, so I will not be restarting this. Not today. Uh...